Hey guys. Hey Josh. Like I just got your message. Sorry I didn't respond sooner. Sometimes I don't, just don't respond. So I, I read everything and I watch everything that uh, people sub like post or you know type. But uh, gosh, just so much, so much stuff. It's, it's time consuming, and I've been um, I've been getting pretty obsessed with YouTube. So I've been really making a, a concerted effort to go live, you know, live life. It's, that's how I got to this point. How I got to this this idea of of being open with people is was by you know by living life, not by doing YouTube. But this is like hardcore meditation, you know, and then it's hardcore meditation that millions of people have access to if they want to watch it. That's pretty crazy. Changes you. <laughs> Changes me. I, I would assume it would change everyone else in the same way. Of course, then it's never safe to assume. <sighs> I've been sick. I've had a... Uh, I've had this cough. I started to get a cold, and then my friends were like... <coughs> That's not what my friends were like. They weren't like, <coughs> they were like, take this airborne stuff. It'll, it'll stop you from getting sick. So I did, and it did. I didn't get a cold, but I just got this fucking cough still. God, it's awful. Um, I gotta say, guys, I'm... I'm a fucking wreck. I can't tell. I can't decide if this is... Is this much ado about nothing? Is this... I mean... Is it even something that you can, like... Make happen? Or is it just some... I mean, I know it's something... The, the only way you can ever inspire someone... To be open and to live genuinely is to is to do it and that's what I've been doing with my life and that's what I've been doing with the YouTube videos rather than doing you know funny stuff for, for laughs <laughs> as opposed to funny stuff for something other than laughs I don't know I I guess I could do something zany and crazy I like doing it so my, my, what I was saying I I don't know if this is uh it's not a waste of time. I don't think it's a waste of time sir, at all. I just I don't want to push it. I don't want to I do want to push it. I don't You know what I'm concerned about is and I don't know why I'm concerned about it is is what other people think about me like how I'm like I've got this urgency you know and I've got this I'm saying like we gotta do this we gotta do this now put my video on the front page we don't have to do that I don't have to have that my, my video doesn't have to be on the front page it's, it has nothing to do with that just a couple days ago I got a message from a guy who said this guy left a video and you know, he doesn't sound good. And, uh, Kev Trader, thanks, thanks for sending me that message. Kev Trader, I wish I knew your name off the top of my head. I have to look it up. Kevin, I would assume. <laughs> Don't ever assume. Um, I left him a video, Tom. I watched his video and he was in a lot of pain. He just experienced some incredibly rough stuff. His, his girlfriend friend, I think it was his girlfriend or his wife, his girlfriend, left with his kid, took the car, and he was freaking out about rent, and it was like, you know, a place you go to, like rock bottom, and I just wanted to be there with him, and I was able to with this fucking YouTube, kind of, I was able to post a video and talk to him. 
That's amazing. That's it. That's this is that's it. That's changing the world. Now the only reason I was able to communicate with him, this is a little convoluted, but I think the only reason I was able to communicate with him is because he communicated with me first. You know, he made the decision to put that video online. That's the decision that... I keep saying we all. We all don't have to make it. That's the decision that I choose to make. Is take my feelings and my thoughts and put them online in the form of this, in the form of me doing it. What can I do? How can I encourage you to do it without being pushy? Or is am I being pushy when I encourage, but there's nothing wrong with being pushy? Fine, fuck it, I'll be pushy. Get a fucking webcam. Do it, you know? It's crazy not to with this technology, this free technology. But I don't want to be pushy. I don't want to be a dick about it. I just, I think the thing that causes me the most pain in my life is when I see someone closed off, just close off to emotion and just refuse to open up. And I know nobody's completely closed off, but that when I, you know, when I try to connect with someone and then they just don't want to open up that's it's awful because it's like it's the one thing you have no control over but well I don't know maybe we do have control over it I think that maybe we do have control over all of our relationships they can be anything that we want them to be me and Amanda had an amazing night last night talking about perception and she was having this feeling like I wasn't even here. She, and she was like, I'm freaking out. It's like, you're not even here right now. I'm freaking out. I said, don't freak out. It's real. What you're, you, what you're feeling, it's not, it's not like this scary fake thing. It's, it's real. It's real life. When you, when you get these weird feelings like deja vu, she said at one point, I just had deja vu. And I said, without even thinking about it, I said, that means you're really getting it. And she thought, whoa. We had been talking, we were talking about science. I haven't posted in a couple of days because I haven't had anything specific to say. I kind of want to talk about sexuality a little bit. The role it plays in society. I think that it's uh, people freak the fuck out about it for no reason because they're told to freak out about it. Like, you know, gay, straight, sex, boobs, penis, all that stuff. People freak out about it because they're told they're supposed to freak out about it. it drives me fucking nuts. Um... Hey Josh, I'll, I'm gonna I'll post this in response to your video. You you have a interesting way that you communicate. I'm really drawn to it. Um, I'm glad you showed interest in this idea. Oh God, am I am I like the most bo I feel like I'm supposed to be like snore, yawn. Is this incredibly boring? Or is it engaging as hell? And if so, is it engaging because I'm looking at the camera? Or is it engaging because what I'm... See, I don't think it's about what I'm talking about. I don't think it's ever about what we're talking about. I think it's about how we're doing it. And if we're doing it like this, then it's engaging. I'm not nervous. There's no nervousness. It's just me. That's engaging. Okay, I'm engaging myself again. Maybe there's like a boring part in this video, like a lol. I'll go back and watch it again. Sometimes I, I watch it as I upload it. 
So it's kind of like, well, if it's not good, I'll be hearing about it. What the fuck is good? All right, lead by example. Let's all lead by example. Maybe I'll make another video later on. Amanda's going to work tonight. So I have the place to myself. See ya.